Producer's letter part five. This was posted at 2 p.m. yesterday. No, today. Earlier today. It's technically Saturday for me now. So this was this was earlier this afternoon. This is Jong Ok An, a producer of Throne in Liberty. There are so many things happening at once. It seems like we just introduced TL at G-Star stage last week, but now we're spending the whole day meeting in Pangyo. It's not too far. It's probably a sign that launch is just around the corner. It probably is. We will keep our sanity until the end and show you a perfect launch. Bold. Listen. I'm not much of an expert when it comes to uh, running video games, but what I do know is never in the history of any game release, major game release, specifically MMOs, has there ever been a perfect launch. <laughs> you, this is the one thing you should not say. What is it? One bill can launching Poyo did get some. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a solid translation. After the G Star stage demonstration, the development team is full of motivation. So many people gathered at the site and for the live broadcast. Thank you for, thank you everyone for your time. I felt a little relieved to see that many people responded that the improvement results were acceptable. I've heard a lot of opinions that the boss's movement pattern is too small and it's easy to attack. Due to the nature of the stage demonstration, I chose a boss whose pattern strategy process was easy to see and understand, so I ended up with the result that seemed simple when I thought I was playing in earnest. I don't even know if I if I made it, excuse me. However, TL has bosses of various concepts, so you can stop worrying about movement patterns and difficulty. I'm confident that you will meet bosses that will challenge you. All right, pretty good. We will carefully review your feedback and repay you with better content. I hope you'll take this opportunity to show a lot of interest in TL's PVE. We promise you fun in PVE. I think this is huge. I think PvE focus is extremely important for any MMO, even if it is a PvP focused MMO. PvE just always has a larger audience. The reason for posting today's letter is to reveal to you the official launch schedule of TL. We already told you through the showcase that the launch date is December 7th, and today we will tell you the time when you meet when you can meet TL. Throne in Liberty will be officially launching at 8 p.m. on December 7th. We actually gave you one hint about the launch time a few days ago. I started creating a character dictionary. I started creating character dictionary at 20, 100 hours, 8 p.m. KR time. Recently, I have seen many cases where games symbi symbolically open at 12 midnight when starting a new service or select the early afternoon to ensure st stable, stable service in the evening. But TL chose dinner. When I thought about the best time to start TL, a PC game, 8 p.m. naturally came to mind. We decided to open at 8, a time when you can bring a drink and sit at your desk after work for, for the day so that as many people so as many people as possible can start TL together. Look, all of this sounds great. All of this sounds fantastic, but, you know, I wish some other things were addressed but yeah okay this this also sounds extremely confident this guy sounds extremely confident <laughs> we're going to show you a perfect launch i'm going to start this shit at kr prime time like holy shit man <laughs> to be fair though to be fair i don't think we had any issues during the pre creation uh the pre creation event and that was at the same time 8 p.m. create your create your character reserve your name select your server I didn't see any issues for the way they were like minor issues. So technically it wasn't perfect, but like in the grand scheme of things, it went very, very well. Pre download of the launch client will begin at 11 a.m. on December 4th, as it is a game that has been in the works for a long time. The client capacity is quite large. We ask that you install in advance to start at 8 p.m. on launch day. Please participate in the character dictionary creation that is currently underway. The character dictionary creation is the character name, uh, the pre-create character creation system, uh, event that they're doing right now. The Cilician Pioneer package is also on sale. Of course, <clears throat> the core of this package is the decoration item. Lucent, Pass, Elixir, etc. are products that can be purchased individually, even 
after launch. And this is an opportunity to collect your evaluation of the lineup of products that TL will mainly sell in the future, including wallet transformation, clothing, army toys, social motion. I thought about it and composed it. I wonder if it would have been satisfactory composition. So we've already gone over what was actually in this package. And yes, a lot of it is cosmetic. It, it, like you get an emote, you get a mount skin, essentially. That's what the wild transformation is, by the way. You get a skin, you get like that Western skin. However... I don't think the uh, the elixirs and stuff that you get is a problem. However, you do, in fact, get Lucin. 100% you do. 500 Lucin, in fact. And you also get these battle passes. You get the battle pass and the growth pass within this package. Okay? So there are certainly things that will give you sped up progression and the ability to swipe that is in this package. Now... I don't know the significance of 500 Lucin. I don't know. I don't know the significance of the battle pass and the growth pass, but I have heard word, okay, that some people do know what is in the battle pass or the original version of it. None of us know the final version of the battle pass. And from what I've heard from good old John Doe, is that uh, there are absolutely items in the battle pass that speed up progression. Not to the extent of anything that's insane where it's like, oh, I have to buy the battle pass, but there are, there are certainly some stuff in there that makes it a value. Okay. That's about all I'll say on that topic. <coughs> but again, subject to change. None, of, No one has actually seen the battle pass and the growth pass for the current KR version. All right. No one has seen that. So we have no idea. So yeah, I like how he says this core of the package is this, but, you know, he kind of leaves out the fact that you are getting the battle pass, the growth pass, and 500 Lucin in this as well, which is a massive part of the actual package. I am thrilled that many people can now show the world the TL they have been preparing for so long. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the development team for their hard work, and we hope and hope that our efforts and sincerity will become pure game fun and reach players as well. It seems like only yesterday that yesterday, excuse me, that I wrote my first letter, but this is already my fifth le fifth letter, sorry, dated November 24th. Time is passing faster than ever in my life, I'd imagine. It will be launched in about two weeks. Until then, I sincerely hope that you can take care of your health, stay in top condition, and enjoy Throne in Liberty so we can take your money. I'm pretty sure in Korean it probably says so that we can take your money, but I'm not I'm not sure why Google Translate didn't, didn't translate that. Thank you for always supporting me despite my shortcomings posted by An Jung-ok. To be perfectly honest, I think that the pre-order package that they do have is very modern. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, there's probably, you know, uh, some 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 items in there that will speed up progression. There's a little bit of cash up currency. Sure. Yeah, I, like I'm pretty sure that th those items are in there. However, if you think about this, guys, compare this to the West, because it's funny how Eastern games are typically more predatory than Western games, right? But then you look at games like Diablo 4, and, and, and Lost Ark in the West and a lot of them, well, that's probably a bad example since Lost Ark is an Eastern game, but you guys get what I mean, right? A lot of these games in the West, look at look at what they're selling pre-launch. They're selling a bunch of different founder packs and the highest founder pack always goes up to like $100 USD. Yes? Yes or no? Yes, right? At least $100. Like Diablo 4, it was $70 for the base fucking game. It was $100, I think, for the, for the, for the ultimate pack, right? Something like that. Or maybe it was more. I think it was like $100. Given that, in comparison, okay, Throne in Liberty and KR is a completely free-to-play game. And the only thing, the only thing that they're selling is this package right here, which also includes, which also includes 500 cash up currency. It includes cosmetics, a skin, an emote, a title, a mount. I'm just going to call it that for people that don't understand. Uh, an avatar, a pet, a, a little chest of consumables. And it also includes a growth pass and battle pass. And they're selling it for $50 local. So this would be like if it came out in the West, it'd be like they're selling it for fifty dollars US. This, if you can, if, if this converted to USD is actually thirty-five. I think like thirty-five dollars. 
It's like $35, $38 USD is how much this is. That right there is actually pretty fucking good. So like you could look at it from the perspective of, oh, you have battle passes there. They're already selling battle passes, all that stuff. You don't really monetizing it. But the other perspective that I feel like you should also consider if you're a Westerner is if you compare this to our current launches, this is pretty fucking good because you can either play the game for free or pay $50 to play it. And that's going to include a battle pass. That's going to include the growth pass and a bunch of cosmetics and $500. So that's not that bad. So anyways, this right here, in my opinion, especially in our current day and age, is value. I think it's 100% fine. I think it's 100% worth it. I've never personally had issues with battle passes and growth passes to begin with. Okay. And the fact that you're including that for a $35 price tag, $50 local, right? Including cosmetics and no other package for a free-to-play game, I think this is a good start. I will also say that if you're complaining about this package, you're complaining about the wrong thing. You should be complaining about their, about their auction house, not this. This is not bad. Auction house system, questionable. Very, very questionable. And that's being generous. For me, I, I'm reading this, and I'm looking at some of the, the feedback from the community, and I'm just like, man, I want to hear more about this crazy auction house system, marketplace system that you have. Like, <laughs> excuse me, like what is going on here? You know what I mean? We'll talk about that like in another video, but you know, outside of that, I feel pretty good about this game so far, right? I'm excited to try it. But that is like the biggest thing for me. That, 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 that auction house, the, the loosen the I I don't know man it, it's just, it's just we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to play the game and see we're gonna have to play the game and see I'm not expecting this game to be free to play I'm not expecting this game not to be pay to win it absolutely is if you're out there and you're thinking this game better not be pay to win oh you know people are excuse me people are gonna be disappointed when they find out it's pay to win oh you're coping if you don't think it's gonna be pay to win bro no one thinks this game is not going to be pay to win it will be pay to win We're, i think the people that are hopeful for this game are just hoping that it is not overly predatory it is pay to win to a certain extent that allows free to play players to still enjoy the game just like just like how people in, in 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 the Blizzard community has accepted WoW in 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 their pay to win systems, right? So I don't know. We're gonna have to see. This was posted earlier today, and we've got about a week and a half or so, almost just under two weeks, I believe, before the game launches in KR. I will be covering this game extensively. I will be getting to end game, no lifing this like crazy, and I will be putting out my own honest review on this game just like how I do with every other MMO.